Welcome to the DocLink session, Go Paperless with DocLink. In the next 15 minutes, you will learn how DocLink's document management and business process automation solution can help your company go paperless and digitally manage your documents and data and automate processes in any department, such as accounts payable and accounts receivable and field service and HR, contracts and legal. So let's get started with our digital transformation journey. DocLink is an enterprise-wide document management and business process automation tool. Its purpose is to help you eliminate paper-based bottlenecks in your organization and really drive efficiency and productivity. It's about connecting the right people with the right documents and the right data at the right time in order to keep up with transactional obligations. Why do it? Well, today more than ever before, we need to be agile in our work environments. There are very specific and tangible business issues to solve to maximize your business potential. But let's make this look simple. Uh, most companies come to us to solve very specific issues. Uh, number one, they can't find documents easily, especially working remote, and you need to have easy document access. Number two is that documents are getting lost, and it's impacting the ability to get transactions done timely. And that can have a cascading effect in other areas, so streamlining business processes become critical as well. Companies also need to evolve and keep up in today's climate, and minimizing or eliminating data entry can be very critical to achieve those strategic initiatives. And lastly, we need to shave time off all processes, including the manual collating of documents, and then sending those documents out so that we can allow you to have access to or allow your vendors and customers to have access to documents that they need. So here's DocLink in the middle. And the first thing we want to do is we want to capture documents into DocLink. And there's many, many different ways that we can allow documents to be captured into DocLink. Once they're in DocLink, we may want to then put them through some kind of business process. And then we may want to then take that document and data and move it into Sage. We also may want to take documents that have been captured and route them out to both vendors and customers automatically so that those vendors and customers have agility and access to documents as well. And then lastly, we want to have documents at our fingertips so that we can easily access documents in the way that's important to us as end users, whether that be through the desktop, a mobile application, the web, or right from within the Sage windows. So let's take these big concepts of capture and transfer, digital transformation and, and workflow um, into some very meaningful chunks. So first up is the whole idea surrounding documents at your fingertips. So this idea transcends all departments because any document, report, or form, or file type can be stored in the system. As well, documents can be securely stored. You dictate who has access to what document or documents that they're able to see. Documents are linked together by transactional data, and that's what provides a very, very rich search criteria. And you also have this on-demand access from your desktop or your mobile device or the web or, again, right from within those Sage screens. So that's why I love to say that it's documents at your fingertips in the way that you want to receive them. So think about this for a moment. What would it mean to your organization if you had documents at your fingertips and available within just a couple clicks? How powerful would it be if you could pull up an entire AP invoice packet by a check number or GL account code, or even see all documents related to maybe a customer PO number or sales order number or even part number? How about viewing documents by a particular employee ID? And what would it mean if you could view contracts and lease agreements and even take action based on maybe expiration dates? And that way you won't be missing any of those critical deadlines. So all of this is possible within DocLink. And this is really just the search and retrieval component. So ask yourselves, 
what are you still storing in filing cabinets or in offsite storage or the warehouse floor or even still you've brought it home to your home office? All of these documents are candidates for DocLink and the baseline for a digital transformation. So let's continue on with our transformation journey here. And we're going to talk about accounts payable. So most companies start an accounts payable in their digital transformation journey or on their digital transformation journey. So we can almost break it down into two components of an efficient AP process. Uh, the time to process an invoice and the cost to process it. The most common place in starting that digital transformation journey. So here are some major benefits uh, in using DocLink to automate your AP processes. So number one is leverage OCR for automated, excuse me, automatic document and data capture and automated three-way matching. So three-way matching is important to you. That can represent just huge, huge, huge time savings. And then, of course, we're capturing documents and data to deliver that to the ERP. Uh, but I'm getting ahead of myself. Uh, so the next step in the process would be collapsing the time it takes to get an invoice approved. So give your managers remote approval and notes capabilities and coding if it's, you, if it's something that's right for your company uh, in order to streamline the process. And this is all kind of teeing the document and the data, for, um, teeing it up for automated entry and eliminating and reducing the data entry. And then, of course, it all culminates in no more filing, no more copying, no more banker's boxes in the office or paper cuts. So it's really about providing self-service access to your documents, not only to those internal users, but also even to your vendors. Wouldn't it be cool to have a vendor portal? And of course, there is seamless ERP integration, and we see that evidence throughout the process. I love to do this kind of compare and contrast. So think about you know, what you're doing in today, you know, today's manual business processes, and what does that look like for you? I can almost guarantee you it looks like what you're seeing here on the screen. And unfortunately, when we have a manual business process, uh, it does introduce lost invoices and elongated approval times and no ability to really see, well, who has that invoice and, you know, why are they taking so long to approve it and get it back? And then, of course, that double, sometimes even triple data entry, depending on what you're doing in the business process today. And then, of course, the filing and refiling. So the goal with DocLink is to take away all of the manual processing, allow technology to do the heavy lifting and really move into what we would call straight through or touchless process as much as possible and really give you back control and, and visibility of just not only the invoice but the transaction and enable your organization to grow without adding headcount or go after early pay discounts and avoid late fees. Most companies see a full return on investment in about six to 12 months and here's one company's story. So just think about this. They had 40 filing cabinets gone because they implemented DocLink. Their approval delays were cut by 90% and went from five days to one. They saved hundreds of hours on keying data. They eliminated the need to print oh, and file about 4,000 pages per month. And they also experienced audit savings. So the whole idea of being able to have documents at your fingertips and allow auditors to have access in the way that you want really reduce their audit time. So if what I'm saying so far is resonating with you, definitely reach out to SWK and they can set up a meeting and then we can talk about how DocLink can facilitate your particular business process. Well, let's continue on in our paperless journey and see how DocLink can impact a quote to cash side of the equation. So here's a little pictorial of the entire process and some of the documents that we see in this process. And I want you to know that DocLink can help facilitate this whole process as well. Um, so it may be, you know, capturing and automatically sending the quote. It may be, you know, um, capturing the customer PO automatically, leverage OCR, bring that into the sales order entry window, uh, automatically sending out sales order acknowledgments. 
um, capturing and synthesizing all of these documents together, even the PIC ticket, the signed PIC ticket, uh, the BOL, QC documents, COAs, you know, any kind of certificates, um, all of this can be brought together in one easy packet for search and retrieval, and you can use workflow in order to streamline the process. So if this is one of the areas that is especially painful for you, let's talk. All right, so I wanted to kind of give you another pictorial so you can visualize a little bit deeper on how DocLink can solve that entire process. So number one, we've talked about this before, but DocLink can capture documents. So it could be that we want to capture the quote automatically from Sage, uh, bring in board on board that customer PO, you know, and then take maybe that customer PO and route it through some kind of approval process before we're pushing that customer PO into the sales order um, module. And then of course, it's allowing easy access for all of these documents to be you know, researched by that transactional data. So here's the element where we talk about, imagine if you could search for documents by part number or quote number or customer PO or customer name if you're looking for a very broad selection of documents. That's what I mean by this agile access to documents or documents at your fingertips. And of course, right, we can do the automation, uh, excuse me, automation uh, surrounding AR invoice delivery. Uh, and actually that's really what this particular company did. So this is American Fruits and Flavors. Uh, they're based in Pacoima, California. They do um, a formulation of natural fruit flavors and they were able to cut down their AR time by 90%. And they had, um, you know, an actual mobile unit that was specifically with for filing cabinets, and that was completely eradicated as well. So just a real powerful savings and being able to, you know, get these documents out to customers in a quick way, send them supporting documents if that's important, and getting your customers what they need so that they can pay more timely. So all sorts of good stuff. All right, so continuing on. Hopefully you're seeing how DocLink and the various tools or modules can really be pulled together to help this digital transformation journey. So let's look at things through the lens of contracts and what can DocLink do uh, for contracts? So we all know that contracts are a very necessary function of any organization. And these are various different kinds of contracts that are used every day and you know, throughout different departments. Um, so this is just kind of a small sampling of, of contracts, so you can think very broadly, but it's very similar. So what would you like to do with contracts? Um, would you simply like to store them in a centralized library for easy search and retrieval? That's very simple. Then we can take it to the next level. Do you also want to be able to drive some kind of business process by the data about that contract. So I'm thinking more along the lines of like an expiration date. Expiration date occurs, we wanna now drive that you know, into a workflow so that that contract expiration can be managed by someone so that you can keep up with those critical deadlines. You know, okay, so that's internal, right? Maybe it's also an external consideration. We wanna send a con contract out for signature and leverage our DocuSign integration, so that's another possibility. And then we can even take it on the front end side of it. So using our smart form toolkit in order to do a contract template. So that's even some more things that you can do uh, in, in terms of looking at contracts. So DocLink truly is an enterprise wide tool. And I keep going back to this idea about, you know, what is the document? Um, how do you want to capture that, you know, the most efficient way into DocLink? Do we want to put it through a business process? Are we going to be integrating it into Sage in some way, or are we just looking at storing and searching that document? You know, all of that is possible within DocLink. And it's because of that that we say it's an enterprise-wide tool. So here on the screen, you're also seeing some additional ideas on where else you can take DocLink. Uh, again, AP automation seems to be um, a very, very common way. 95% of contracts, I think, start there. And then as people become familiar with the functionality and what the true digital transformation means in their organization, then they can take it to these other areas as well. 
So let's talk about some of the benefits. Because the idea behind today's session is to really educate you and get you a little bit pumped up about the possibilities of what you can do with DocLink. And depending on where you are in your particular corporate initiative, you may need some help and support in terms of calculating, you know, their return on investment or bringing these ideas to senior management to get their approval uh, to move forward with this project. So I like this particular slide because I think it does kind of encapsulate you know, where the true savings are. You know, are we talking about a hard dollar savings? We're talking about the square footage related to off-site storage uh, or the square footage of filing cabinets internal to the office. You know, what are your paper and copier um, contract rates? All right, that can also be eliminated when we start going paperless. Uh, personnel costs, you know, courier and overnight fees in between offices. And we've talked a lot about the time savings today. Time savings, while it may be a soft dollar at the highest level, or excuse me, at, um, you know, when you're at first glance, time savings can indeed be a hard dollar savings when we're talking about growing without adding headcount. And so it's really important to think about, you know, your own strategic initiatives internal to the organization and see how you can use a, a tool such as DocLink to support those strategic initiatives. So I really hope that today's session and going paperless was beneficial for you today. So reach out to SWK. Let's set up a meeting and talk about where are your paper-based pains and bottlenecks and how can we best support you in your paperless journey. Thank you for your time today, and I'll look forward to seeing you at the Q&A.